Hey there, today we're going to take a few minutes and throw together a quick and easy container for pretty much anything, but this one's going to be actually for my kids' teachers, and it's something you can do with your kids because, um, I mean, really and truly, uh, there's, there's no messing this one up. Um, when I say container, you can put pretty much anything in there. This one's holding cookies, but if you wanted to put a plant or um, just about anything in there, you could. So let's get started. Hi, this is Geek Mom here, and this is going to be the Lazy Crafter's Guide to Alcohol Inks. Now, I happened upon a video that led me to another video, you know, that lovely little trail that you walk down when you find something interesting. And I ended up in the world of alcohol inks, having no idea what I was watching. And turns out I was watching some actual artists work with alcohol ink. Um, and they were really very good. So I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. But I'm not real big on directions. So I just went and bought the stuff and went to town and learned a lot the first time I did this. So I'm going to pass on a lot of the things that I um, learned. Now, I decided to do this on these white cups here. Um, these are three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So um, really inexpensive way to get started here. Um, I decided to use these as holders for gifts for my son's and daughter's teachers this year for school. Um, I also went to Michael's and searched for uh, about an hour for alcohol ink. Ended up with, um, I don't honestly know what, what brand this is, but uh, it was over in the paper craft section, just FYI. Um, alcohol ink. It wasn't overly expensive, though I do suggest that you uh, try to find a coupon just for funsies. Um, I am using standard grocery store alcohol. And I did learn something really cool. If you get a $1 spray bottle at the Dollar Tree while you're there picking up these cups, it fits. Isn't that lovely? It fits the lid right there on that alcohol bottle. It makes it so easy. Um, Something else I discovered, in case you don't happen to have alcohol just kind of hanging out at home, Windex does basically the same thing. So if you have Windex or some other glass cleaner, you're pretty much good to go. Um, so the videos will tell you that you're supposed to prepare your surface and spray it with your alcohol and then you put the colors on there and they're supposed to meld together and look all beautiful and then you can do all sorts of fun stuff um when you don't know what you're doing it doesn't work out quite that way so what i found was that if i take this lovely alcohol and spray it on my surface that i have not prepared and then take my alcohol ink and drop it on there what i get is a bloody mess um as you can see, that has just gone completely haywire. So, when that happens, this is the really cool part. Um, you take the alcohol, and spray it on there, and just wipe it right off. Makes this, this is one of the things that I actually like about this ink, is that it's basically idiot proof. When you, um, when you have a problem, you just wipe it all off and start over again. So, we're going to call that good, we're going to move on from there. What I did find is that if you put your colors on here, in whatever way, shape, or fashion you want, when you just drop it on there, it's going to dry fairly quickly. So you'll get a little bit of roll around, it's not going to go very far, and then it's just going to dry. So if you put a few drops on here like this. Just let it roll around a little bit. Pick up another color that you want to have this go along with. Again, color is not overly important, at least not to me. So we've got a few colors on there. Now, if I take my alcohol and spray it after the 
inks on there and then let it float around. Then I get a little bit more of a nice little saturation. I should have put more drops of the alcohol ink. But like I said, this is just a interesting, fun little way to um, play with something a little different. It wasn't, like I said, wasn't overly expensive. You can get some interesting designs. If you are actually an artist, I'm sure, you, number one, you've already played with this. And number two, you know how to use things like these lovely little simple Q-tips that they said, oh yes, you can do this and you can do that. You can make lines right through your stuff and draw trees. Yeah, I don't do well with trees. Um, but you end up with some, some interesting colors put together here. Um, you can do a lot of different things. You see it's kind of gone all the way around. Uh, once you've done this, I would say it's no longer food safe. But as a container, it comes out quite useful. Now, the ones that I ended up with um, actually turned out pretty cute. I was very excited about it. Um, they're going to hold cookies. So, um, you know, just a nice little um, grouping of colors there. I also found out that if I wanted to, once everything was dry like these little green dots I've got in here. I actually went back after everything was dry with a paintbrush, just a tiny little paintbrush, like so, and uh, put some of the alcohol ink down on my very fancy tablecloth here that's a trash bag. You pick up a little bit of that ink, and what you can do is come back here with your bottle and dip it into these little places like this right here. Now you see it does some interesting things to the ink that's already on there. So you have to kind of pay attention to what you're doing as to where you're putting it because it will um, meld into the inks around it and push them away. But once you have your base structure down of, of kind of the way you want it to look, if you go back in and just add a little bit of dots of color here and there, um, You'll want to brush out this paintbrush. If you're going to use it for multiple things, you'll want to get some of that paint off of there before you switch to a different color. But then you can come back in and add a few other things like that. And you'll end up with some interesting dots of color and some um, patterns. If you're looking for something that's fun and not overly taxing, um, you can get some solid color. This was one my daughter did. Um, and it just flows right on there. Not very hard at all. It will kind of get messy. Um, you've probably noticed that my hands and fingers look kind of crazy. One thing, I, another thing I learned was in those um, professional videos, they tell you to wear uh, gloves. And they were right. But... This will come out with a couple of scrubbings of some nice Gojo. Hope you have some on hand. Or some rubber gloves, I would recommend those. Um, but really, alcohol ink, it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it, like I said. I'm a lazy crafter, I don't follow instructions well, so just kind of hit and miss. I, I'm kind of happy with what we did. So, go play. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Lazy Crafter's Guide to Alcohol Inks. Please be sure to follow us for more lazy crafting and costuming, as well as random geek topics by hitting like and subscribe. Also check out our blog site at geekfamilyof5.com. That's geekfamilyof5.com. Until next time.